knew that was my boob. Put my head between your boobs. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay C. Sweet. You call me Shay for sure. And today we're going to do every every show to animate in 15 minutes, or 15 seconds or less. A link to the original creator will be down below. I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look. So, uh, so the links will be down below. I'm putting, I'm putting a video together, uh, and I'm putting a video together, uh, I, I can't wait till it premieres. It's gonna be Shay in a defense of, and then it will be the villains. <laughs> the immediate murder professional. The misrepresented people of the round table of Black Air Force Energy. <laughs> I beg your pardon. But that's just, I, I'm, I'm putting that together. I hope y'all really do enjoy that. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Every shonen anime in 15 seconds or less. Attack on Titan is the only anime where we got fidget spinners, crips, gang wars, <laughs> overgrown apes, Alabama bred regen, and worst of all, Titans that do not believe in consent. And all of this happened because the MC got freaked over by Santa. One Punch Man's MC is. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, not wrong, not wrong, but. Not wrong, but, uh, I mean, maybe he's saving the ending. It's basically Caillou. If Caillou injected steroids and nicotine into his protuberance, <laughs> this anime has great animation, but if this child is your waifu, you deserve to get captured and treated like Joe Biden's body pillow. Ew, ew, oh, mm. Only thing he's gonna do is sniff you and, and, and get cancer and then cure it in a day and then get COVID afterwards, but I don't get political on my channel. Demon Slayer's got a guy that has a brick forehead, a hypermobility crit that has reverted his braid cells, a lolly that's cute until she decides to bilk your whole bloodline, and a guy- Hold up. Hold up. Nezuko- Nezuko is- Okay, I just wish- uh, I mean, you know what? I don't- I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm still at the- um, I'm still at the- um, The- I, I- I only- I just finished up the entertainment district, so yeah. I'm sorry. I know everybody's gonna be like, well, Shay- you don't understand that this character right in front of us is gonna be the most badass character in the world. I'm sorry. I just could not get over him bitching and complaining and always crying. Oh, that's an ugly noise, son. Here, how about you cease this bitch crying? I've never wished for somebody to get brain damaged so much in my life so he could be a character that I can rock with. But I know everybody can't play that cool character, but he literally got on my fucking nerve. Guy is only useful when he starts fantasizing about lolis. Also, the MC trying to kill the King of Pop to heal his sister. Tokyo <laughs> Revengers Middle <laughs> School is looking like they came out the womb, smoking six and lynching people. Not that facts. I literally had to recheck Tokyo Revengers like four or five times because I was like, how old are these kids? Not even how old are these kids is like, these kids has like some nice ass style. And I was just like, I was like, damn. That kid cute. Oh, well, I wasn't like, damn, that kid's cute. I was like, damn, she cute. And then everybody in my comment section was like, that's a boy. <laughs> the MC though, because he stayed letting his girlfriend get the syrup squeeze out of her. <laughs> this anime is a master of creating tension. But Man, truck coon, truck coon don't, don't, don't give a fuck about nobody, dog. <laughs> you have a better chance of pulling your favorite waifu than trying to understand the time trouble. Jujutsu Kaisen is shown and just done right. No boring training arcs, just straight up fighting with good comedy. It has pandas and villains. Yes, it does have pandas in it. And he has a sexy ass fucking teacher who I wish would teach me um some stuff with his blindfolds on or off. I'd be playing soccer on the beach, but I don't know why you gotta eat fingers though. I wouldn't even eat frog legs unless they froppy's legs because some joints probably slap. Jojo's about a bunch of guys that are beating the shit out of each other in the craziest ways possible. Like I've never had an anime visually make me jaw drop. Huge warning though, this will make you just a bit gayer. Uh, you gay? Just a bit, just a bit. Like if Jojo gets another game, these unlockable characters would not surprise me. My hero, I could. Okay, JoJo Bizarre Adventures, bruh. Y'all fan base crazy, bruh. I still don't know what the fuck's going on. All right, half of y'all men look like women. Ah, the return of the Y boner with a vengeance. The other half look like just straight up bitches. I I'm happy for y'all, but the one thing that nobody can say about JoJo Bizarre Adventures is literally 
whoever did they damn wardrobe needs a fucking Oscar because God damn it, they wardrobe be just full of drip. Just God damn it, man. Like I wish that I wish the person that uh, designed for JoJo Bizarre Adventure literally went in my closet and revamped that bitch because that shit will be fire. Amen. Yeah. Damia, the most shipped anime is a story about Deku in his hospital bed's goal to become the best hero, <laughs> just like Mr. Pedal Man. All talk. Also, I was thinking Deku's just like Takamichi, but at least Deku don't be letting out Chaku get ran over. But let's be honest, she belongs to the street. My Promise <gasps> Neverland is about branded cattle trying to escape from Mama Milky to avoid being fried and shipped off to people like Nezuko. Demons. I really love the character what? development of this character, but I think this one's the true goat. Huge warning though, season two was so trash that it'll make your eyeballs melt. Season one was goaded. Hunter x Hunter I, I heard good things about that anime. Is it worth... Okay, out of all of these animes, y'all put y'all favorite list down below what's worth watching. Here we go. I'm sorry, this guy said a... This guy is still a pedo in my book. I don't give a fine fuck on what his arc is afterwards, but I don't like him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't like him. He gave me R. Kelly vibes like a motherfucker. Yeah. And I don't, I can't shake it. I can't shake it. Why the fuck he be looking at these two kids like he be looking at them and shit like that? Nope. Bruh, every time this nigga come on my screen, I'm gonna remind y'all, this nigga is EDP. This nigga's R. Kelly. I don't, like, literally, him being the way that he is made me stop watching it. That is a known fact. Hunter is about a little boy in stinky shorts who's looking for his dad who gone left him with a moat. On his journey, he tries to get stronger and has to fight guys like Mr. Like Little Boys, man. Freaking Piccolo <laughs> and a cat that gets her joints said fly. But did you know I'd be posting on my Twitter? Like sometimes I find random funny stuff and since I can't post it on YouTube, I post it on Twitter. Definitely should check it out. Death Note's MC is basically Santa for adults, but instead of giving them coal, he kind of murders him. them in the worst way possible. <laughs> it's one of the best non-battle shonen out there. Full Metal yes. Alchemist is a very cute anime. Cute moms, friendly robots, and even puppies. Yeah. No, not that one. I know this anime's bad. Oh my god. That's the episode that made me cry, bro. I'm not crying! Not! Full Metal Alchemist, the Brotherhood is still a fucking goat. Goat anime. Don't care what anybody says. If y'all don't like it, it's okay. But I love it. Shit. Like, bro, why is he doing this man so dirty? Man, get a Mustang! The synopsis is two brothers going on a journey to get their limbs and body back. It's easily a must-watch. Boruto's the wish version of Naruto, and I stopped watching it after 30 episodes of Street Filler. But I did watch the fights alone because Kirima's a goat. But to be honest, watching Sasuke play the floor is lava with soccer is kind of entertaining. <laughs> Noragami's main character is a god, but uh, <laughs> look at the way he rubbing up against that 5 yen. It's all 5 yen in there. He is rubbing nickels. This is one of the more entertaining ones, and I pray it it's a third season. Ranking a King's MC is basically Helen Keller. If Helen Keller could beat the shit out of grown ass men. Lil Man just trying What? Hold up. Excuse what? Wait a minute. Oh. Uh, what? I've never heard an anime described as Helen Keller. Um become the strongest king and walk around with his pet shit stain everywhere. But everyone keep hard as respecting my good man. Despite all this, Boji's still walking with his balls out. I respect it. Seven Deadly Frames is a battle shonen that's got a giant that can squish you with her ass. A dude that dresses like a Jojo character. The Sexy. opposite of a lowly. A man that goes from zero to a hundred real quick. Fucking Escanor is sexy as shit. Sorry. Peppa the freaking pig. And we got the main character in his living body below. Bleach's MC is a soul reaper and protects people from getting their soul slurped up by the hollow. Look at how cursed they look now. They looked cursed before, but now they a whole different breed. This is from the newest trailer and the animation looks like it's about to be lit. Fairy Tale is an anime I've watched at least three times as a kid. They be using magic to fight each other and magic sounds lame, but their abilities in this anime slap. Natsu's a beast. Ah, uh, not gonna lie though, the women- Ooh, who the fuck was that? You are looking Fine. That sounds lame, but their abilities in this anime slap. Natsu's a beast. Ah, uh, not gonna lie. Who the fuck is that? Her personality is immaculate. This nigga was clearly lying. <laughs> Um, 
that you um you had you 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 could you do say something i like her red hair nice work brain you're welcome there you go and her dress is beautiful lie though the women in this anime kind of get fan service whatever they move a millimeter but the arcs are goaded the kids in angel beats are sent to school to accomplish the dreams they never got to accomplish while they were alive while the main character attempts to regain his lost past memories be prepared to rapidly tear up because watching this is by far the best way to put your heart into crippling cardiac depression avatar oh. ain't really an anime but his joint slaps because look at what they be doing water earth fire <laughs> and they got it the frog. No. This group travels to the land of fire to kill the fire lord because he'd be killing everybody that ain't got fire in their blood. <laughs> so I guess what I'm trying to say is they're trying to kill Hitler. Soul Eater is about three duos that eat souls. One is a wielder while the other one turns into a freaking murder weapon that goes around slurping up people's souls. I watched this anime over 10 years ago, but still to this day, I remember just how wacky it is. Soul Eater is unique and you gotta at least watch it for the drip. Dr. Stone is another unique shonen. Dr. Stone, I've never watched and it. And it's satisfying to watch because there are lots of plots and fights that revolve around science, wits, and technology. I don't want to spoil the things that this dude creates, but just know I wouldn't be surprised if he created a whole ass gaming PC. Black Holy Clover shit. is another magic anime, and magic anime will always sound trash to me. <coughs> it's, it's about the... Okay. Okay. I'm not going to say it. But literally, Black Clover okay. is about rising above the fucking legend. <laughs> it's literally, I'm trying to say it because I know Dragon Ball Z is coming up, so I'm not trying to use the legend that you fear as a legend. No, I just don't know all he, The nigga didn't have no power. He was like Deku and he trained and then he finally got some powers. It's basically the same thing. And then they go on a fucking adventure. Cause he's but Deku goes to school and, and, and he goes kind of back to his orphanage and then branches off from there. It's a guy. But this anime is good. It also has the power to stop magic. And his goal is to become the Hokage of his kingdom. I'm really waiting for that fifth season to come out. Samurai Shampoo is one of those good oldies that still holds up till today. It's got sword fighting and it's got some actually good comedy. It's also one of the only anime with a hip hop infused soundtrack. Chainsaw Man is so good that it gets put on the list even though it ain't out yet. That's how good it is. This man is a little chainsaw man. Um. And the manga has zero boring moments what else do i need to say one piece is a complete masterpiece but i'm not gonna lie sometimes they be showing two dudes just stare at each other for like a whole minute straight <laughs> but the ending of every arc makes it worth it because most arcs can only be described as legendary dragon maid is definitely not a shonen but go watch it because this animation could put almost every shonen anime to shame the show's what? peaceful and then the action is crazy it's a slice of life though i don't know if you're into that and to be honest there ain't that much fighting i'm just trying to turn you into a degenerate although tower of god gives me them isagai type vibes Vibes is actually better than 99% of the Easter guys I've watched. Bam, which I think is a really trash name, goes to climb a tower and chase a woman and has to face challenges along the way. As he goes, so he's chasing pussy. Uh, okay, that, that that's an easy one. Higher in the tower, things get harder. Villain Saga is a revenge story that takes place during them hit a lick on a peaceful village and steal all their money, food, and women times. Good times. But no, not really, though. These guys are crazy. But at least they're not as crazy as the guys are berserk. Tokyo Ghoul is a peaceful anime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Bullshit. Tokyo Ghoul was fucking trash. It was trash. Trash, trash, trash. I have so, I have, this is going to be my third time. No, fourth time. Maybe fifth time. Uh, I don't know. Tokyo Ghoul was trash. It was trash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was trash, trash, fucking trash. It was so much trash. I don't care what anybody says. It was trash. The first season was good, okay? Then the second season came along, and then I think it was the third season. They just removed us from the nigga who went emo for a second and then put us with some random bitches that we were supposed to fucking care about. And then they finally put that nigga back in. And then by the time they put him back in, then they're like, well, now we still got a Captain Saver hold this nigga and everything else. He turns into a basically a long tentacle hentai dick monster and everything else he gets a bitch pregnant oh i forgot about that he gets a bitch pregnant turns into a long tentacle thing bitch and then literally literally after all of that they have a happy ending they go back to the cafe
And all of this fucking happened because of the fact of the matter is he didn't want to talk to a bitch that was in his league. He wanted to talk to this bitch that at least had to be 30. And Motherfucker, you look 30. And everything else and then follow her into a back alleyway. D I just skipped over a whole bunch of shit. There's a random guy who enjoys killing killing ghouls way too much and nobody nobody says shit to him. D it's trash. Okay? And then for everybody who always tells me, read the manga. I'm sorry. Kaneki gets catfished, beat the freak up, his life ruined because he's now a ghoul that gets hunted by the government. Also, another caution, do not eat while watching this anime. God of High School's fight scenes be going crazy, and this is one of the only webtoons that got animated. But Crunchyroll made this anime go from good to trash so quick that it's equivalent to you getting nuked before you can even get a chance to react. Devilman Crybaby is about a devil man who's a crybaby. Watching this is a great way to send your heart into scrubbering pain, and this anime is one of the only anime that I can describe as trippy. Fire Force is an anime that needs no explanation because it can explain itself. Oh, also, this anime has very good plot. A comic. Hold up, hold up. Only thing I'm going to say about Fire Force that I have seen, and this is just me just being honest whoever does their ankles, can their ankles gain some weight? Shay, what the hell do you mean? Fire Force, every time I watch a animated uh, rap cipher about Fire Force, th their ankles need, their ankles are hungry. It looks like it's supposed to be in one of those, uh, you know, Sarah McLaughlin type commercials. Like, they ankles go from regular to like stick skinny in 0.5 seconds and they never come back. So, yeah. Oh, also, this anime has very good plot. <laughs> A comic that kills characters are a group of assassins that have the goal of overtaking the government. This anime is easy to spoil, so I'm just gonna show you the characters. Yeah, so this one's my favorite. She likes dogs. Oh, she likes dogs too. And there's this one girl that's a lollipop, but uh, we don't talk about her. Edith and Deities is getting the Never same explanation as one of my recent videos that you should definitely check out. This anime is basically Dragon Ball Z if Dragon Ball Z was etchy and showed them punching people bloody. Like their bodies are not made out of rubber in this joint. They'd be sending punches as hard as brick straight to the dome. All right, so. I'm pretty sure this one's from Fortnite, but instead of building, it's just ninjas being badass. Naruto's <laughs> trying to become the president of his village, but as with every old shonen, there's two shit filler episodes for every good episode. Careful, guys. Watch too much filler, and your eyes will bleach itself. Hey, but Naruto's way more cursed than you remember. You should definitely check out my video on it. Or you Wow! Every shonen anime in 15 minutes, 15 seconds or less, and they didn't put dragon ball z in there oh god damn it well then <laughs> shut up. Y'all put the reasons why they didn't put Dragon Ball Z in there. I ju I'm, ju I'm just gonna put it out there. I didn't skip any parts, so y'all put them down there. Okay, anyway. Uh, Leads for the original creator is down below. Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And I have all this whole anime list. What's a good anime to watch? Uh, leave them down below. Because uh, I'm actually curious. Because uh, I can't watch that Tanya one. Because it's all in fucking what sup no it's all in the it's all in the original language with the title so what's up my dyslexia subbed it's all subbed not dubbed and everything else and i'm dyslexic so i need everything in dubbed version so anyway um again my name is shay too sweet you can call me shay for short and like my grandmother always says so long. I